Hi, today we will be going over the process of creating a table in Microsoft Excel 2016 in order to organize people and their contact information for things like sending Christmas cards or keeping in touch. So we'll first start by opening Microsoft Excel and clicking on blank workbook. And the first thing we want to do is go to file and save as and save the document. I will save mine under documents and just call it contacts list. I already have it saved, so I'll replace it. Uh, and so now I'll go to the bottom right hand corner here and click the plus sign to zoom in. I'm going to go to 150% since we don't need to see so many boxes on the screen. And so now we'll need to decide on the information categories that we want to include. So I will be including name. So I'll type name and then I'll hit the right arrow key on my keyboard to go to the next box. email address, home address, home phone number, and cell phone number. And so now you'll see that uh, some of the boxes, some of the words get cut off. And so you can click on the line in between each column when you see this symbol. You can click and drag to make it smaller or larger. So I'm going to do that for each of these ones that are overlapping. And so now we'll go and click on our first box, A1 right here. We will click and drag to highlight these boxes here. And then we'll go up to alignment. And we want to click center to justify these in the middle of the box. And then I'm also going to click on bold in order to make them stand out a little bit more from the actual information we will be putting below them. And so now all we have to do is enter the information. Hit the right arrow key. And so you'll see that some of these uh, overlap again, so we'll readjust their size. And if you make a typo like I see here, you can double click in the box to get the flashing type symbol back. And so we'll do that. And now we'll go to the next box. And for this example, we, we will be doing a family. So I will Say John and Jane Doe. And now since John and Jane have two separate cell phone numbers, we'll first start by typing John's. And while we still have this flashing type symbol, we'll want to hold the Alt key on our keyboard and hit Enter, and it'll go down to the next line, but in the same box. And so now we'll type Jane's phone number. And then we'll just hit the right arrow key to get out of the box. And so now we'll just do some final resizing to make sure everything fits. And you should be good to go. So I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, and then so you'll just repeat this for all the other contacts that you want to add. And then you'll have something ref to refer to whenever you want to keep in touch. Thanks for watching.